right away. Or nope, it was pretty bad. Well, nothing that I can do here, unfortunately. I'm gonna quit this table, I'm gonna bring my one dollar to dollar table in, I think it's the worst one out of these three, yeah. So yep, nope, not doing great today, um, we are losing even more, ooh, $82 in, in red, ouch, still doing great, um, we are still at uh, about $700, of, uh, $700 of our bankroll here, so um, no red alarms or anything like that, so, still in the safe zone, right? But it is, it is a bit, obviously it is a bit frustrating when, um, you're playing hands and just not hitting and um but nothing we could do. Just need to continue with my uh, just need to continue with uh with my A game here. And I'm sure um we're gonna do just fine. Definitely gonna bet again here for value. Betting for value is not like I'm bluffing here with Ace King. Um, number two man. He raised it in this hand. It's gonna be a bit different than in a hand before. I'm gonna fold Ace three. Just checking one hand, guys. Here are some, uh, looks like a really tight guy, so and this is the last hand on this table. I'm gonna quit after this hand here. I'm gonna continue with um, both of my other tables, but obviously, I would love to find a good one to one dollar to our tables. But man, today the tables are not great, so it's it's Monday. Is it Monday today? It is Monday, right? Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> yeah, uh, hashtag poker, poker pro problems. I have no idea which day of, of the week is. If I weren't doing these live streams, um, I'm pretty sure I would um, I would mix the day, dates uh, even more. So, um, But I know that I'm doing live streams on Monday, Wednesday and Saturday usually, so um, um, I have pretty good odds to, um, to guess which day is today, so... Um, I guess I'm gonna call once here. Now that everybody folds and just he, he's in the hand, so and I, I'll have to check race here, obviously. It is straight. So Hitman is saying that's cool that you're going to make videos on YouTube for limit um, on information. Can't wait for it. Thanks for the information. Yeah, there's not a lot of obviously not a lot of um, uh, information on limit hold'em. And if there is, um, it's, it is pretty, uh, pretty old and pretty outdated. So, um, wow, yeah, yeah. Well, he had make it three bets here on the flop, um, on the turn. I am pretty much dead here, really. Um, I was kind of surprised that he checks back because of the board part. I guess he um, was just a bit scared of that. So I guess uh, he uh, did save me. Um, he did save me one big bet there. So. Yeah. Um, when to know when to uh, quit the tables? When the, when the table is not good anymore, I actually um, quit the table. I mean, at these stakes that I'm playing right now, if there's not a, a weaker player on the tables, um, the table usually breaks. So, for example, we have 
for example, we have air cooled here. And if air cooled here quits the table, I can quit the table also. So um, it's not it's gonna it's gonna break pretty soon, or it's not the table good anymore to play in. So um, I could even um, you can quit even uh, because of that. So uh, and I always quit a table if I find uh, another good table, so another better one. So um, so yeah, um, maxi cows dunk beds on a board like this. We saw some weird uh, dunk beds before with like ace 5 on a like queen, queen 9 flop or whatever it was, a queen, queen 6, nah, queen 9 and queen, I can't remember what it was, uh, but this is a bit different now to be honest, um, I'm not really, uh, that use at the end wasn't the best, you know what, I'm actually gonna fall, he did, he did dog, he did race pre-flop, so I have no idea what he has here, I'm, I'm check calling here, and I'm calling with the worst hand, fortunately. Um, I mean, I did call two times here. Um, I guess I'm gonna fault. Is this table any good? Not really. I, I don't I mean I don't care about winning or losing at the tables um, uh, I don't really care about that so uh, I'm just looking at what players are the table and what kind of position I have on them so um, if the table is not good anymore like I said if if I'm on the table because of the sandwich here I have a position on him uh, I have a, a green, green color tag on him so that means he's not um, the best player um, and if he quits and if someone like attack comes in um, there's no no need for me to be on this table anymore um, I can just quit, quit right away and just try to find another table. Uh, this table is not as bad to be honest. Um, I'm gonna join just for a second here and gonna sit out and just, just see how, how it goes with these tables here. Um, can't really do much on a board like this when it's double paired and a king. Um, even though I have a flash draw. Um, he's gonna call me here if I bet, right? Nope. Is there a specific tip you would give to new limit holding players that is very important? Um, specific tip? Um, like the the, the first. The, the biggest problem with fixed limit holding players are that they are just too lo too loose and too passive. Um, if there's like if there's uh, like a, if that's true, that's not true. I mean, if you're coming from no limit hold'em, if you're like a good no limit hold'em player and you come to the fixed limit hold'em tables, uh, there you're actually a bit too tight, uh, not to to lose. Um, but for example, people are doing mistakes when they are limping, so you definitely should should be limping. You should be cold calling if someone just for some raises. Uh, there's no not other any other action. You should be cold calling. You should either be folding or three betting, and um, I guess at the start, if you're starting with um, the micro limits, um, I think you can start with uh, playing like taggish poker, ABC poker, uh, and just go on from there and um, just try to um, uh, just try to improve your game from um, uh, from taggish point on. So um, any specific? I don't know. I mean, you have to know that people don't usually fold in this game. So uh, if you hit a pair. <laughs> You probably shouldn't be here folding really. Um, you should just be calling down. So um, um, I mean, it's it's really it really depends what kind of player you are. So um, it's a bit. I think it's a bit too general of the question there uh, to answer really. Um, like I said, some of the new guys who comes here uh, just play like to do some to pass you. Um, other like no limit players who try who see sees my um see my live stream here and just try to play fixed limit hold them. Uh, for a few hands, they are a bit too tight and um, to fold too much, too many hands pre flop uh, and stuff like this. So, of course, like they cold call and uh, limp and stuff like this. So that's obviously pretty bad for limit holding. So only half an hour uh, left in our live stream. I'm gonna refresh my graph for the last time today. I'm uh, just gonna get a, just so we get a bit um, like. Um, surprise factor at the end of the live stream so we are we are down 80 bucks here today so let's see how we uh, 
that's how we're gonna finish um, our session here in the last half an hour of course the help um, I'm gonna win all back which uh, who knows might happen probably not Um, well, I was really, really hoping to see the turn here, but I guess I'm gonna fold. Uh, Simly just tried to check all the flop, and now all of a sudden he donk bets on a king on a queen board. Am I gonna call again? No, I can't. I don't think my, my outs are clean here. Hmm. Yeah, I think fall is fine. It was kind of big pot here, but um, I kind of believe he's done better, to be honest. So even though it's only half an hour left, I would still love to find a, a good one dollar, two dollar table. Um, I have one in reserve right here. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna check behind here and call the river. Is that a good good action against Pokali? Not sure. The queen is definitely not a good, good card, but I'm, I'm gonna do a call any, anyway. I'm pretty sure he would raise with a 10. Uh, that queen is obviously pretty bad, so I think me betting on the turn would be a bit superior, but I think it's fine. Um, if he hit the king queen, that's fine. He would call me again on the turn and uh, probably don't bet the river. bet with fives should be fine the flop is atrocious I'm gonna bet once and just fault if he uh, if he calls and he went raises so it's fine the hand is his um, yeah raise and loser three bets as pre flop I guess I can call once just to see if I somehow improve there that it is an improvement but I'm not sure if it's good enough um, his 3 bending range is also pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty small, uh, pretty tight pre flop. So, yeah, wasn't the best, uh, best peel in the world, but um, it also wasn't the worst one. Man, I'm get, getting crushed here today, really. Wow, race from from all the positions can't really do anything. Doesn't do not hit anything. So, and, yep, everything is coming back now. Everything is coming back. Mm, I guess I'm called now with a pair of eights. And he was doing this with ace queen, so nice hand, sir. Can't really do much if he decides to um, to be a bit bluffy here on uh, on the flop and um, hitting the ace. At least I hope I get lucky here with jacks. I was checking behind the, the turn to call the river, so I would call any river there, uh, but obviously going to, to raise a jack. I guess he actually had an ace and stuff like, or, or even a king. Yeah, he actually has an ace. So. Um, three bet by Basunia here, pre flop. I'm gonna peel once here and fold and improve. Hey, limit. Limit cat came to see us. Maybe he can, um, maybe he can uh, bring us a bit more, uh, a bit more luck here. Lol, it's tough to bluff. Uh, yeah, definitely tough to bluff in fixing and holding. Definitely to pick your spots. Um, not sure if I want to take this table over um, any other table here. I'm gonna stick with uh, what I have currently. Uh, do you have any limit book or no of any good ones? Um, I don't really uh, recommend limit holding books. There are some, um, but I think um, 
other material is, is better than um, limit hold'em, uh, than books, I think. Um, so I was trying to bluff here, didn't really expect him to check behind the jack, so um, that's fine. Um, um, I guess the best material will still be, like I said before, um, like articles, uh, limit hold'em articles on poker strategy forums, I think those are pretty good for uh, for a for someone who starts playing uh, fix and hold them for a new newbie here. And then the other one would be uh, the videos on the deucescracked.com. It's a poker learning website. Um, those videos those videos and those articles are all outdated, so um, they're pretty old, like some of them are even like 10 years old or stuff like this, but um, I think they're still kind of relevant if you're playing uh, micro limit, so um, they're still good starting point so yeah on your hat how do you put your color changes per percent um i mean those don't really mind those color changes really um for example i mean if someone like if someone if i see someone who has like 40 percent plus vpip that usually means that he's a loose passive player or whatever um so i have have that uh, color on for a green color so um but don't mind those cards. Those, some of the some of the cards are random. Some some do mean something, but um, in general, just don't mind the colors really. On the hut itself, of course, not not the color text on the players. Those are those those are important. The one here, he deserves a yellow tag. He's a bit too aggressive. King gate suited. Sure, river me here is pretty tight. Um, so I'm gonna actually make a note on here that he is um a bit too tight. I mean, for I mean, I guess I mean the colors are actually good on hot if you um if you want to make them um but um like I said um don't look at mine um mine are not very good so for example if the if the stat is good for um for like uh, someone who is loose and passive player um just just make um those uh, ranges like with a green color tag um and if the, if the if for example like a low um, aggression amount or um high VPIP or low PFR, um, those are obviously uh, that, that tells you that the player is loose and passive, so um, you can make those, um, that hat you can make in a green green color, but um, if someone has like a high, high, um, let's just go on in here, if someone has like a high aggression factor or high aggression percent, um, I'm gonna slip, split, we in split when we are uh, kinda ahead, um, way ahead, so yeah. Um, yeah, if someone has like a like like sixteen percent, for example, it's um it's not the it's not loose passive uh, opening range, but it's definitely not um, aggressive enough. So that's why I have like orange orange color note here. Um, if someone has like for example like twenty, that is already good. So um I have this in red, for example. Air cooled, no, no, come back. So yeah, we are really, really running bad today. So uh, I mean, we were running so good in the previous live stream that um, that it's really no wonder. Uh, we need to have a, a day like this here on uh, on the live stream too. So I definitely do not mind. There are actually lots of tables available, but um, uh, they're actually not that good. So also Simic here quits, so like I said, if Simic here quits, I quit to, uh, especially now Asitoni here comes to the table, so definitely quitting this one. Right away, no need to play even one more orbit here. You just need to be strict with your uh, table session, guys. It's three, I think we can open here. Opening any any suited aces, really. I'm sure some of the guys folds at least like. I don't know why we fold ace deuce ace three. Yeah, I know probably they do not fold. Um, psychic here. This table with the blue color tag. I could see a, a jo joining this table. Um, would love to see a bit. Uh, would love to have a bit better seat to be honest. But um, eh. 
Uh, we're playing for 20 more minutes here. G Durant, he plays a bit quick, he plays to do some passive pre-flop, but he's really really aggressive um, post-flop, so he's the same as uh, that, um, what was that guy, Phillips, right? Yeah, like when he was playing like an hour ago. But Sune here, he plays a bit weird, so he's definitely not a good player. Um, I'm gonna make a yellow color, color tag, even though it, he doesn't really seem like a yellow, I need another color tag for someone who plays, who plays kind of aggressively, but not good enough, I guess. Maybe his stats didn't converge yet. Maybe I'm not. I'm giving him. Um, uh, maybe he's not as bad as I think he is. But um, at least his pre-flop stats are not the best. And let's see. He made he made some weird plays. But he's running like uh, he's running pretty good. Yeah, he's running very good. Three bet here with Ace Queen. Let's start hitting some hands. Nice. If someone raises me now, I'm just gonna call down. But they both fault. <laughs> Still searching for one table. One table for the last 15 minutes. Come on, one table please. One table. I'll take almost any table really. 7-9, I'm gonna try to steal here. AP is pretty good, but um, the both of guys are pretty uh, pretty tight on its blind, so um, I wouldn't. Uh, I usually like uh, I make a 8-9 offsuit cutoff, but um, here on the big blind, I think. But 7-9 is good sometimes, but I uh, need to fold right away, unfortunately. Oh, medium table. Um, you know what? I said I'm gonna take almost any table, but um, nope, not gonna take this one. Limp. They are both not that great, so uh, I think limping here is fine. Um, I think Claude is gonna bet here once, so like we can check race. He did play played pretty passively in the hand before when he actually had top pair, so um, I'm sure he's not gonna play back at me uh, really, uh, really hard. And if he does, um, I guess I wouldn't be good. So he's showing me a four. I'm gonna see his whole hand anyway. Um, and um, ace 4, so I am. We were really expecting to call ace 4. I guess he is a uh, um, donk bet on a board like this. Well, obviously I'm not falling, but I'm, uh, I was hoping to see um, a pretty cheap uh, turn card here with my, um, <laughs> with my gut shot, but um, I guess not. Yeah, it's not gonna be cheap, it's gonna be pretty... Uh, Pretty damn expensive, but now I also have um also have open added also uh, eight plays for me, so I guess I can't be really quit here. You don't bet with sixes on a board like this, so let's hope that AP doesn't have king king jack here, or else I am. Uh, running pretty thin, but um, I mean, someone knows that I have a jack here, obviously, at least AP here knows that I have a jack here, nobody was from him. So when he donk bets and he raises, I can't really do much here on, uh, on this time, uh, it was definitely a different situation before, so just folding is fine. So AP had 10, so yeah. Nice hand, sir. And he played a bit too aggressive with his ace queen. I mean, I, I don't really mind, but um, yeah. 
he has to know that he was behind on the t on the flop and turn so I will also be probably playing um, in the EPT live free roll today. Um, I was playing yesterday, and it's always fun to play uh, these uh, tournaments uh, free rolls. Um, I was just playing. Uh, I was watching the EPT live live stream here on Twitch. Uh, I just noticed the password here in the in the right corner when uh, they usually put their password in, um, and I just joined the free roll. So why not? Um, I just answered a few questions, a few few questions that the guys had um, on the tables. So it was pretty fun. So I'm gonna probably do the same today if I'm gonna be. Um, Playing at uh, at that time, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be. Out. Hey, Viking! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Mirrors Mafia, sir. Limit here is um, limit is sleeping on a feet uh, on a, on a fat Berta here. Open raise and cap, not really up that thrilling come. Um, man, again I only st stole the blinds with aces. So yeah, it's not our day today. <laughs> when you when you when you steal like uh, just the blinds two times with aces and you figure with hole and that's pretty uh, that's pretty tough. Ah, oh, I now can be I can call it the the queen. I'm actually happy that he actually checked behind. So he does open raise and caps with uh, ace king suit, so that's good to know. Open raise, cap, ace king suit. Um, the pots are usually pretty big now, uh, big in that case. So that's that, that's why I make a note on stuff like this, um, so I know how how confident confident I can be with my hand in a spot like this. He is so cutting that he's gonna fall off the off the TV here. <laughs> yeah. When, when you when you uh, like a pet him, he's just in, in kind of a zone, and he usually just falls off the table and and the seats and whatever. Um, uh, it's pretty funny. Let's see if if he can give me a high five. Come on, give me a high five. High five. Come on, high five. High five limit. Don't bet here on a, on a board like this. Sure, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna raise his ass now. Come on, give me a high five. High five. High five. Come on. High five. No, come on. I, I taught you the high five. You know the high five. Uh, he's not. He's not in a high five mood. <laughs> but believe me, he knows how to how to do a high five. Mm, a seven. Not gonna ice race here. He's gonna get in trouble. Um, definitely can call at least once here with King High. And definitely can call now again when I hit the, f the flop. Ah, uh, to hit the turn. I knew that I'm gonna get, say uh, wrong, but I say it wrong anyway. Oh, I was still waiting on the <laughs> on a round of tables. I kinda expect a check behind now from him. If he doesn't check behind, I, I am probably losing this hand. And he does check behind. Jackman suit. I think it's good enough to 3 bet, especially Pokali here. Topper Jack, nice. But Suna did cold call to here on the big blind, so I'm kind of worried about his hand also. Um, but now that Ace hits, um, it's pretty bad, even though it's a it's a flat draw for me. I'm, I think I can go in check call, check call um, here. Um, hoping that he obviously bets with words, but nope. He probably has an ace here, right? Yeah. Nope, nope. Not our day, guys. Not our day. Uh, why would you know that ace king suited cap in that completely standard? Yes, definitely is, but uh, not from players like this. So um, if if this 
this max this mass x does this or pokali does this is going to be totally standard i'm not even going to make a note on it um but if someone like like not a good player does this i definitely make a note on uh on a stuff like this just because um he can have some weird hands in open raising open raising capping range on the on the button um i saw people do this with um um it's all, all sort of fresh here. Um, the problem, the, the the thing here is, the catch here is that um, some of the players actually limp and race um, uh, with Ace King suited on the button. So um, when you see open raise and cap from that kind of player, you know that he, he doesn't have Ace King, he doesn't have Aces, he doesn't have Kings, and he, he, he might have some sort of crap there. So um, it's always good to know. And just because, like I said, um, the pot is going to usually be big in, in a spots like this. So... Um, and it's always nice to have a good read um, or some notes on for their situations. I <sighs> was raising here with two pair, but obviously the two pair is probably not good now. Um, well, I guess I got lucky here with the split. So everybody loves the chop pot, right? And he actually has queen, so he was uh, way ahead here. Anybody loves chop pot? So I guess I'm gonna join this table just for one orbit here. It's um like. Uh, I'm gonna play only like for five more minutes here, um, and now all the tables. And here is another good table. So yeah, sure. Now that I finished my session here, um, you're gonna give me tables. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna call here once, obviously, um, with my ten. Not really thrilled to see a race here on a board like this. Mm. Not really, not really thrilled to see a bet and three bet here. Wow. Wow, at least I got some more outs now, for a jack now. I guess I'm gonna call here again, uh, don't bet now the river, now that I actually hit my ass right here. Or maybe we get we did get some luck here, and he checks behind, so I guess I'm gonna see a, like a big pair here. Um, yeah, jacks, nice hand. Nice hand, sir, nice hand. He definitely played fine. Uh, not about three bets, fives. Fives. Come on, give me a high five. You know how to do a high five. Come on. Yeah, did you see, guys? He did a high five. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put that on YouTube. I guess I'm gonna call here. Man, loser is pretty tight. He's way tighter than I was uh, thinking before. Um, can I can I make a race here? Oh, it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna be ugly if, if Savino here hits a good hand. And I can fold now. That king is pretty bad to be honest. Um, well, well now that the river is pretty good, so. I guess we at least we got lucky here in um, the last few hands. Oh, wow, really? I got a race here. C can I three bet with second, second, second nuts? I guess I can. He actually hit a. Um, wow, he he delayed his race with a key, with the king. Wow, nice. That was pretty nice actually. To be honest, against me that was pretty nice. Um, <laughs> This limit just almost fell off the TV. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this in replay. Um, don't bet by again by this guy, and he did don't bet before with just a pair. I don't believe he would, would he really don't bet with Jack. I, I mean, people usually check race with the top pair, obviously. Um, so I'm not sure what he's don't betting here with, but there's also Claude Ball, so and he definitely can have a Jack here. I'm gonna bet again on the on the turn here and check behind the river. Um, Wow, I can't check behind here and he probably has a, a jack here. 
Would he play an 8 this way? He definitely would play an 8 this way. Um, he might hit a 9 here for, I don't know what, 7, 9 or whatever. But um, I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a, a jack here. Thank god he doesn't have it. Nice. 9-7, nice, nice. Yeah, some people never kept in position, that's also, yeah, sh uh, should, should definitely mention that. So, uh, you almost, um, from the good wrecks or some of the wrecks, you almost never see uh, them capping. So, they they, they have they do not have capping range, some of them. And some of the guys have, like, a really uh, wide capping range. So, uh, they are capping even with, like, with Ace Kings and 7 6 suit and stuff like this. So, um, any note helps. Any note helps, really. So, I guess I'm going... I, I'm going into the last orbit here. Um, you know what, I'm gonna call even though I have no odds here to call. I'm just gonna call anyway. Um, I'm gonna bet, but I'm I'm really gonna be worried if someone calls here. Yeah, um, I'm I'm this is more of a bluff than a than a value bet to be honest. I'm gonna check behind and I mean I might call Deuce. I should have called this. But I'm gonna check behind. Why didn't press check? Come on, Luca, press check, press check. Can you value bet this? I guess I should. <laughs> um, well, it's my last orbit anyway. So, um, sit down this blind, sit down this blind. Here I'm gonna play the big blind and then I'm gonna check the option here. Well, at least we won some of the, some of the hands at the end, so it wasn't as bad of a session. <laughs> Can you see how, how he is, uh, how Limit Cat is uh, lying on, on the TV? <laughs> He's gonna fall off if he, if he, uh, if he falls asleep. What kind of position is that? Oh, limit. You're such a funny cat. That was it for a uh, low man table. It was uh, kind of good at the end. We got lucky a few times. Queen 5. So yeah, this wasn't the most exciting of the live streams um, so far, but uh, it is what it is. Um, you can't you can't really win every um, um, session, so um, we were just running way too good so far. I only had like one losing week so far, and me doing like three live streams per week, and that meaning that we only had one losing week. That just that is just that, that's magic, really. That's that's magic. Totally unreal, but um, yeah, here is um, a losing day here today. Cold, 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 call and cold call, or I'll just call on the on the big blind. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. So um, I have to bet here again with top pair queen, obviously. Um, I think I can value bet this. Uh, it's in the value bet, right? That's seven, not the greatest river there is, but um, I guess I'm gonna bet again. I have no idea what Sabina here has after me. That was pretty nice hand, I must say. That was that was pretty nice hand. Wow, Ace five. He called me down with Ace five. That was pretty nice hand. So actually, I won some some of the money back. Wow, can't believe it. Who can believe it? Mm, I'm gonna peel once here. Man, Samino is really tight. Uh, tight with his range, uh, with his uh, three betting range. Come on, what's his three betting range? Um, I can't see it. Come on, stop acting this way. I just want to see a three betting range. Ah, I have that. 
Sure, I'm gonna call once and fold um, to, uh, to, uh, to another bet. So, um, can I value bet here? I guess. Yeah, I was worried about this. Um, is here happening? But I'm gonna call it anyway. Is he really doing this with King Queen or Ace King? Is he really checking behind Ace King? So I guess Ace King or I mean he doesn't have a worse king than me. So there that's a fact, right? Um so that means either he is bluffing here or uh, he hit his ace king. But he should check behind ace king on the on the turn. That, that's kinda weird. Um so I guess I'm gonna see King Queen here. But I need to finish my session. That was that was that was um just cherry on the cake for the last five minutes really. Just cherry on the cake. Um <laughs> let me pull the let me pull the graph here and I'm gonna refresh right away. Um I think we're gonna be a su su kinda surprised at the end now. Um I'm still kinda Okay, that, I mean it, it wasn't the worst bluff. I mean, if I'm betting a pair there, if I'm betting a pair there, um, I'm never falling the river if I'm betting the pair. And if I am betting with not a pair, if I'm bluffing there, he is bluffing with the best hand. I guess he could make me fold some aces. I, I don't know. Let me just refresh my graph. I, I have no idea what that, uh, that, that's pretty interesting hand. I could actually post this hand somewhere um, for evaluation. So wow, forty-seven dollars in in red. So we did win some of our money back. So we were uh, we were actually down like one thirteen already. Wow. So um, I'm kind of happy at the end um, with my um with my uh, loss here. Um, pretty minimal loss uh, I think for a losing session. So um. Uh, at least we finally got a losing session, yay! <laughs> so let me um, let me open up my bankroll challenge spreadsheet and uh, let update. Let's update um, uh, this thing here. So we played for three hours and nine minutes. So that means um, one eighty-nine. We played eight hundred and thirteen hands and we lost how how much? Uh, four seven nine one four seven. One. Oh, of course, in, in red. Derpy derp, in red. So we are currently sitting at um, $742. That is that is still a like, healthy amount, so zero problems. At least we're gonna have at least a few more live streams here um, with our banker channel, so at least um, we got that, that. So I'm gonna go black for a second, and I'm gonna just look up... Um, in, 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 in one of my files, how many with how many points I started today? So eight, three, five, five, nine. Yeah, yeah, limit. Yeah, you're being good, boy. Um, so basically, I have eighty-three thousand VB points uh, so far this year. So obviously, as you can see, I am behind my pace of three hundred K. So I need to start grinding more, more, or just uh, doing some live streams with them. Um, with the higher stakes so and currently i'm sitting at this many b points so we today we just got 217 bb points is that correct just a second guys um 217 BB points only. Why, why, why did we get so many? Oh, here is um, I made a mistake here. 813, right? So why did we get so many BB points in the in the live stream before, but only 217 today? Is that correct? Let me just go black for one more second. I actually do not believe this number. I don't know why, but I do not believe it. Um, let me just have a look again. That's kind of weird. Oh yeah, it's not correct actually. Yeah. No, it is correct. Oh god damn it, it is definitely correct. <laughs> eight three five five nine. Eight three five five nine. Yeah, we only got. That means that I played so passively. What? Or I don't know. So let me uh, just uh, get back um, the screen here. 
So I guess I played so passively here, right? I just followed way too many river. I have no idea why uh, that is. So um, yeah, we're I guess we're currently we're uh, at this many BB points. So let's uh, make a calculation here. So I can update my uh, bankroll um, info here. Uh, and by the way, my next live stream will be on Wednesday. Uh, -dum -da -da -dum. Bankroll info. So day 41, which will be like I said on Wednesday, starting at 11:30 a.m. Central European time or 5:30 a.m. Eastern time or Poker Stars uh, server time if you want. Um, I'm sure you got used to it um, already. So um, starting bankroll will be um, 742.37 dollars. At least we um, lost another session. So for example, as you can see here. I didn't really have that many uh, losing sessions here, and I had like um, six winning sessions in a row. Five, that's five. Come on, Luca, count. Count correctly. Five, five sessions in a row that we won, and we won like 500 bucks. So that is just crazy. So um, our graph is gonna still look pretty nice. So we, we collected 3,093 um, points and. 2000. By the way, we have uh, enough um, enough FB points for another bonus, so um, we shouldn't worry about that either. Um, so that's like additional $25 here. So day 41, like I said, uh, is gonna happen on Wednesday. That's um, May 6th, I guess. It's today. Today is released May 4th. It is. So May 4th. So May the 4th be with you, right? It's a Star Wars thingy. So I guess I'm gonna see this all over Twitter and Facebook today. So I guess it's gonna be a bit um. It's gonna be a bit obnoxious, really. I'm not really a, a, a big Star Wars fan. I mean, the movies, the movies were fine, but I'm, I'm not like the the fanest, fanest of the fans or whatever. Um, hey, Bomba, thank you for the the follow. So yeah, that was it, guys, for day 40. Um, oh, here is one question, Lilu. Uh, why? Um, yeah, the numbers are correct. I uh, have more FPV points than FPP, just because I already spent some of the FPV points. So um, as you can see here. Um, let me open the challenge again. So we actually bought uh, a bonus, $25 bonus for um, 12, 2, 200 FEV points. So basically we had to um, deduct this from our, um, for our amount here. And so that's why I have less um, FEV points than I have VV points. Um, so yeah, and we also bought four stellar awards, but we only spent uh, four FEV points on those. So um, yeah. We got together we got for now we got 88 dollars from rake back so um i have like notes here so um i can show it to you guys actually so uh this is how we got uh, our um rag back five dollars for mission week uh we 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 cashed in the micro events for 466 uh, we lost one um uh, so together we we have 1.36 dollars um in the bankroll challenge from the tournaments here is another stellar award 10 bucks here's another one 10 bucks 25 dollars like i said from fpps and here's all in shootouts we got 18 bucks from those and here's another stellar award and here's another one so how many one two three four yeah four four stellar awards yeah that's fine one two three four yeah that's correct four stellar awards so far yeah so I'm um, together um, for 88 breakback and 1.36 thousand tournaments. And by the way, we all, like I said, we all also have enough FE points to buy another bonus. But we'll 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 wait a little. We can still spend. Um, we can still um, save our FE points for later, so I can buy them later. So we no need to buy them right now. So yeah. Like I said, that was it guys for day 40. It wasn't the best day. Um, at the end, I guess, uh, like losing 47 dollars uh, when there's Really, that really we weren't running that. We were, we were running really bad, so it's forty-seven dollars at the end is still pretty good. Um, um, uh, pretty good result, so I am happy with it. So um, yeah, I guess I'll see you on Wednesday. So um, good luck at the tables. I'll see you on Wednesday.